So, Rusty, what is the Blackwater Turtle Refuge? Well, it's a nonprofit organization who is dedicated to the preservation of alligator snapping turtles. Uh, a lot of times people are into many different species of turtles, and I had decided 35 years ago to go with the one species of turtle that completely overwhelmed my mind, uh, and that is the alligator snapping turtle. We're also a functional farm where we uh, grow our own food. My wife and I live here, and we pivot our lives around alligator snapping turtles. Okay, so what do alligator snapping turtles mean to you? Uh, to me, they're one of the most fascinating animals on earth. Uh, certain people become obsessed with certain things. I looked at the alligator snapping turtle 35, 40 years ago and couldn't put it out of my mind. They're prehistoric. They're uh, diligent survivors that have no natural enemies at the large size except for man. And to me, they were just something that was incredibly awesome. They're, there's hardly a, a waking hour that I don't think of something about an alligator snapping turtle at this point. So it's been 35 years of my life pivoting around, caring for, and educating people about alligator snapping turtles. Vision for the future at Blackwater Turtle Refuge is we used to do educational exhibits all over the United States. We physically loaded out. We had a 13,000 pound load going down the highway. We uh, taught people about alligator snapping turtles um, across the United States. We did 34 different states each year over a five week tour. We would see typically a half a million people and physically load this uh, show up. I would stand in front of the crowds for 12 hour days at zoos, museums of natural history and teach people about alligator snapping turtles and to me, teaching people about alligator snapping turtles is about conservation. If you can show them a large alligator snapping turtle, at that moment their guard is down, their minds are open, they're listening. Now you teach them about the animal that they're looking at that is not native to Africa or some foreign country. This is here in the United States. And when their guard is down, you can use that moment to instill wisdom, to teach them, to give them knowledge. And when you give them knowledge you're changing the hearts of man their only natural enemy and you're creating a heart of conservation and that's how you can truly protect a species to me if I was going to own these animals which you can't own something that's going to outlive you by a hundred years but if I'm going to care for these and harbor them then they have to be utilized wisely and to teach people about them is the wise choice to use them. The future brings outdoor exhibits. Um, I'm going to be building uh, through aquascapes, we're gonna be building outdoor habitats to keep the alligator snapping turtles in outdoors. We're in Northern Indiana, so they'll have greenhouses over them eventually. And the study turtles, the ones that are in my documentation study, will be kept outdoors in an aquascapes biologically filtered uh, pond. Uh, you know, the world has changed. Uh, when I started doing the shows, uh, it's been 25 years ago. Yeah, 25 years ago I started doing the shows. And it was more of a put it in the truck and trailer and travel world. Now everyone's looking into their phones. So how are we going to teach them about the wild outdoors and get them interested enough while they're sitting there staring into their phones that if we can get them interested enough in the wildlife on their phones, maybe then they'll get up and go outside and enjoy what God's given us out there in the wild. Um, so the, in the future, it's more of a and brick and mortar is being built here with the outdoor ponds and the exhibits for the sake of the digital world uh, to take it to them electronically. And to me, I used to do a show that would be intense, it would be a lot of work, and I'd see a half a million people in five weeks. I can see a half a million people in five minutes.